Let's take a trip down Echo Park Avenue! This is the L.A. neighborhood where I grew up, Echo Park. We're east of Hollywood and near downtown. We have a lake that's been here since the 20s when movie stars had love nests in the hills. Our homeboys take pride in telling the history of our barrio because white people leave out a lot of stuff when they tell it. On Saturdays and Sundays, everybody shops at Sunset and Echo Park Avenue. There's no reason to leave. You can get anything you need in my neighborhood. When I first moved here from Mexico, all the signs in the stores were in English, and I couldn't read them. Now there's as much Spanish as there is English. This is where our stories happen, Echo Park. You can't believe that a lot of the stories we're about to tell you had something to do with the truck. But when I show you all the crazy shit this truck can do, maybe you'll understand. We take life as it comes in my neighborhood. The good and the bad. Like everyone else, we have our ups and downs. You take it as it comes. You keep cool, knowing in your heart that what goes around, comes around. That's life in the echo, eh? My name is Mona, but that's not what they call me. When Mousy and me first joined her gang, all the names were taken except Mousy and Sad Girl. Everybody said Maribel should be Mousy because she was so little. My homeboy Sleepy said, no stupid, because then we're going to have to name Mona Sad Girl, and she's not sad at all. Rascal said, stupid, it don't matter. Sleepy was mad, and he just kept on saying, she's too happy to be Sad Girl. But they don't say that to me no more. He don't love you at all, stupid. He can't stand to be around your whitening mouth and those fucking fat ass hips of yours. He thinks your daughter's ugly, sad girl, because he only loves Junior. Do you understand? You know what, bitch? You talk a lot of shit because Ernesto was with me last night, pledging his love in that special way. He said he don't want to be around your ugly face with all those fucking pimples. You're the bitch who goes after guys who already have somebody. That's right, and I get it. Slut, puta, look at yourself, bitch. Yeah, shut up, you fucking ass wetback. Yeah, Mousy and me were best friends since first grade. But last year, things changed. I remember seeing Mousy for the first time. She was loca even then. She was always in deep shit with her mom. I 
received her ass that day, and I've been saving it ever since. We grew up together, her and me. There wasn't anything she didn't know about me, and nothing I didn't know about her. We were so tight, people called us like we were one name, Mona and Maribel. We even had our periods on the same day. She was always boy crazy, but when she saw Ernesto, that was it. It was all she could talk about. She drove me crazy with it. You think he likes me? Ask him who he likes. He said, hey, what's up to me today? I was glad when it finally went down between them two. Maybe she stopped talking about him all the time. When she got pregnant, I had a baby shower for her and all the homegirls gave Mopsy presents for her kid but I got her a real pretty ring for herself. It was the right thing to do, even if my homegirls thought it was stupid. It seemed like she was gone forever when she went to the hospital to have Junior. When she came home, she didn't want to kick back at the market with everybody. She was tired all the time. I guess she was shining on her nest too. What's happening? Someone, someone else. I don't know. I, she, you know, she's just really tired these days. I don't know. So I call her, you know, show me to my phone calls, and my abuela tells me she don't want to talk to me. I don't know. You know, just hang in, give her a chance. Yeah. You think they can call you sometime? You just, just talk. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It wasn't like we planned it. These things never make sense when they come into your life. I think we just turned to each other because we missed my friend. I don't know, it just sort of happened. Me and Sagar used to live in the same building. When I couldn't even speak English till she met me, I taught her English words for everything. I was always teaching her. Exactly. Joining the Echo Park gang was all my idea. Our homegirls jumped us both in together. They kicked our asses for a whole minute, and we fell back to prove we were down. She didn't have anyone special in her life like I did when I found Ernesto. I mean, boys liked her and stuff, but she wasn't in love like I was. When I lost my virginity to him, she was the only person I told. And I told her the truth, too, how it hurt and and I was all embarrassed and shit. But I liked him so much. <laughs> shit your shit and get out. All of it. All the little pretty little shit. All the little happy little shit. All that shit. Take that shit with you. Go out there now in the world and see how you gotta work now to feed a child, to feed a baby. Like I had to feed you. It ain't gonna be no party and all that bullshit now. After my dad threw me out, I lived with my father's tia Lena for a while. But she had me doing chores and other things I didn't want to do. So I went to live with Ernesto's abuelita, 
I spent weeks in bed just looking at my new baby. I had something that was just mine. <laughs> Abuelita told me lots of stories about Ernesto when he was a little boy. After Abuelita died, we went to stay with my homegirl Carmen, her old man Spooky, and their two kids, Regina and the new baby Pepe. But Spooky was kind of a dick. But let's go up It was right around that time the sad girl fucked me over and got pregnant by Ernesto. Sad girl, you bitch. Who the fuck are you calling bitch? I'm calling you a fucking what bitch. What the fuck are you gonna do with this, Mousy? Brush my hair? I'm gonna fucking oh. shove it up your ass, oh, you bitch. Oh, shove it up my ass, fucking you bitch. You gonna kill me? That's how you want it, Mousy? Fine, bitch. You got it. Tonight, sad girl. At the logs. Where you became a slut with my vato. And don't be a leva. Just you and me, one on one. Most of you down for your shit, bitch. Here you go, guys. Something to drink. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mom. My job at the market paid all right until I became a dad. And now I need more money. So I started my own business to help out with my son and daughter, my mom, and my brother. You don't bring no fucking watches or rings or stupid shit like that, eh? I want feria. I'll be there. If I'm not, you wait. Hey, you need a bat like you say, you wait. I used to play on this corner as a kid. Had my first job when I was 11 at the market across the street. Now, it's a corner where I do all my business. This is Echo Parque, our neighborhood. You can come into our neighborhood as long as you show us respect. Otherwise, we're gonna fuck you up. Fine. It's like a read, fool. You didn't even finish junior high school. Oh, fuck you. I'm like a read. I just don't watch you, bro. This shit's boring, homie. <laughs> yeah, it's a bomb again, eh? Hey, pull it. Neto, check it out, eh? Hey, kick back, homie. I'm talking to my lady. Hey, homie, you should know by now that when he's talking to his hyena, homie, he don't hear for shit, homie. Just when that smart, you should know that by now, fool. He's your best common other, right? <laughs> Come on, bro. There it goes. Can't go for <laughs> shit. Now with that on. Hey, that's it. For what I do, bad home, I don't need both my arms. It only takes one. Come on, man. You know you Quit want picking it. on me, Vasco. <laughs> Pick down some video for a few years. <laughs> seriously, give me some money for a few years. Seriously, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's so small, man. You could better go buy some you. with your educated oh, self. All of you homies are <laughs> stupid. Ain't no big secret about that. <laughs> right, Ernesto? You and Mousy? Tonight? Hey, don't worry, all right? Because you're my homegirl now. And I'm gonna protect you, all right? All right? Food? What? Ow, 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 ow. Yo, 
gonna give you some spaghettios. Some spaghettios? Come on. Here you go. Grow up big and strong like your dad? I confess, eh? There's only one thing I love as much as my kids. I went a little crazy this year when I bought something for myself. My mini truck, Suavecito. Hey, check it out. I bought it from an older homeboy who's locked up in prison. I didn't tell Mousy or Sad Girl about it. Girls get jealous of the time you give to a car, you know? Besides, eh, they saw all the money I put into it, they'd kick my ass. Punk El Duran from our rival gang, River Valley. He's been coming around saying my truck was promised to him by my homeboy in prison. El Duran will have to put a bullet in me to touch my suavecito. the nuts for this kind of business. The white kids, the hueras, can't trust them. The junkies are the worst kind, eh? They're too weak for their life. Got the nice pad to live in. Always had it nice. Got a bedroom just for them and their shit. Not sharing with no one. Then they get greedy. Nothing's ever enough for them. Just like that, eh? They're doing six, seven balloons a day. Like there's no limit of supply. Come on, ain't no one's gonna give them enough fed air to keep that up. So they come to you with the wet eyes, thinking you'll give a shit. That's how they do things in their neighborhood. That's how they get by. Oh, Ernesto, please, I need it. I had a bad day, I'm, I had a bad week, I'm stressed. Sometimes, if I'm in a good mood, I let them bullshit me. Hey, if the chick is cute, I might go easy. Because next time she'll give me head for it. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't fuck them. Not, not white bitches. Not junkies, nah. But it gets me hard when they offer. Yeah, it gets me hard just to say a rato. Leave them standing there in my neighborhood all alone. But they don't know nobody. Nothing they know means shit. Where wet eyes are everywhere, and they don't buy you heaven. Not tonight, baby. So you really want to know the operation? Yes. Can you meet me at the alley tonight, all right? It up. Hey, it don't work for shit. You just carry for the clients. You to feed me, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's for confidence, you know what I mean? Death, why don't you? Sorry, but I came to tell you I can't babysit tonight. Because I got this opportunity, see, to better myself in life, right? My sister's home. She can watch her, I guess. Yeah? Your sister studies and shit on Friday nights? No, Esa. She writes letters. Only lately they've been sending them back to her. But anyways, I brought you something. Take it. It'll protect you tonight when you meet Mousy at the logs. No, Whisper, come on. You've always been lucky because you wear this all the time. Oh, see, stupid. That's why I'm giving it to you. Because you're going to need lots of luck. And this. Here. Are you 
crazy, Essa? Where'd you get this cuete? It's Snoopy's. He's wasted on Coos. He ain't gonna miss it. Don't be stupid. I never shot nobody. Look at home, girl. You just might need it. You know what I'm saying? Not no gun. See, you better believe it. So, sad girl, listen up. You wait until it looks like Mouse is gonna pull her cuete before you pull yours. The honkers are gonna be backing you up, so don't worry about shit. All right? A rato. Everybody from our neighborhood? Yeah. Yeah. That was nice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Remember that time we went cruising and your tijas dropped the Ford truck? <laughs> Never seen your truck so feed me in my life. <laughs> we were king and queen in that truck, huh? It's a planetarium. We looked at all the stars in our sky. All the lights in our city. And we kissed me real softly. And everybody went away. They told me I was your only look up for life. Mi corazón por vida. Sí. You lied, Vato. You lied. Now I have to kill my friend. I killed my friend even before I knew you and understood. We're not friends no more. Now she's a bitch. I'm scared of her. What if, what if she kills me tonight? What about our son? Look, you gotta tell him, Ernesto. You, you gotta tell him about his mother. Maybe, maybe he'll remember all the little toys I got for him. the way I used to comb his hair. Or the way I sing to him before he goes to sleep. You gotta tell him about his mother if anything happens to me and missed him. Tell him. Tell him how his mother died for love. Mm. Little loca Maribel. You're not gonna die, baby. What are you worried about? Hmm? See my ruka. My homegirl. Sabes, baby? Hey. Hey. I'm gonna protect you, all right? soñando que que tu mamá me gritaba <risa> siempre me gritaba no sé de qué era su costumbre sabes recuerda uno las cosas de la gente las cosas raras cuando ya no están tengo que irme sí mija vete 
Es el viernes en la noche y tienes el derecho de divertirte. Ándale, vete. Y diviértete. Daddy is very strong, okay? And he's gonna protect you. And if something should happen to me, he's gonna take care of you in life. Okay? And if I ever hear about you gangbanging, I'm gonna come back and hunt your little macho ass. No, you stay? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Bullet man, how am I gonna repay you for teaching me your business? Don't sweat it. Just say a prayer for my two rukas in the hill tonight, all right? <laughs> Sad girl was so scared, so I gave her something for a little confidence. Oh, yeah? What was it? Snoopy's gun. Can you imagine Sad Girl killing anyone? You stupid? Are you serious? Don't worry about it. She ain't gonna do nothing until Mousy goes for her gun, and Mousy doesn't have a cuete. Mousy does have a cuete. I gave her my own one tonight. They don't work for shit, but she don't know that. from again, Holmes. Check it out, Holmes. He's turning up the corner. He must be going to the alley, Holmes. Let's go check it out, Check I said. it out. Shit! This is fucked up, eh? We gotta do something. Forget it. Hey, Ernesto. What's happening? We stood face to face at the logs, and all I ever knew about Mousy, and all she ever knew about me flashed before our eyes. We had a serious past, her and me, and I guess that's why we just couldn't do it. When we heard bullets echo through the hills, it's like we both knew we'd lost Ernesto for good. Junior, Junior, leave the baby alone. Get your hands out of her face, Menso. You got it. They're getting along. Yeah, look, they're playing. So they don't get along too good, huh? Por qué? Because they're related, eh? Junior, it's a little girl you can't have, Menso. He makes her laugh. 
had the same eyes like Ernesto. A little bit the same. It's a lot the same. Exactly. Come on, mijo. Hey, sad girl. Mona. You want to come by the pad and kick back with your daughter? I'll be all right. Mousy. Maribel. I'm going to McDonald's right now. Burger King's better, eh? It's not crowded. They don't got what I like at Burger King. It's cheaper at Burger King. Fine. You go to Burger King and I'll go to McDonald's. We'll go to McDonald's, okay? <laughs> me whisper because of my voice. I have dreams of walking with my homegirls up the avenue. Walking like I used to. Walking fast. Walking slow. Walking around like I could before the night me and Ernesto got blasted. Sometimes the only thing that got me through the pain was knowing my homegirl giggles was coming out of prison soon. You shouldn't be going anywhere with this leg still healing. I'll be all right. Just hurry. Damn. That thing looks nasty, eh? Take a good look at it, all of you. Whisper, think about something else. Tell us about Giggles and Creeper again. Giggles. I can't believe she's finally coming out. You know, at first, me and her didn't get along. Because she had all the vatos in love with her and shit. Then the best-looking vato in Echo Park came out of jail. Our brother, Creeper. They started going around together. And me and Giggles came like family. Hurry up, come on. She's gonna take off without us. Graciela, hand me my jacket. No. Do it, you butt. I'm bringing your mother home today. And finally, somebody will kick your ass. Enough, okay? She's so spoiled. Mm-hmm. Just go. Be careful, okay? Right. Please, please. Apurense. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. Yeah, hold on. Here, come oh, on. Please. Don't let her stop at no fucking bar or shit, okay? Bring her straight home. How? How you feel, brother? Really good. You feel good? Really good. so much bone, brother. Let you get the feel of my bomb, baby, doll. Like it? It's my own man's. Or Speedy from River Valley. You go around with a bottle from a neighborhood we don't get along with? That's fucked up, bitch. Hey, love is blind, homegirl. Besides, no clown in my neighborhood has a car like this top of me. It would be nice, Esa. Have a car and shit? I could do Crystal's laundry a lot easier. Go out cruising on the weekends? I mess around with a bottle from another neighborhood anytime. Yep, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna learn a lot from Giggles about love. She was the first homegirl who ever got locked up. She's learned a lot in prison, eh? Maybe she'll deal on the streets with me. She lost her man just like I did. I want to ask her how she got over it. All right, God, she's gonna be all tired and shit. Don't ask her a bunch of dumb things all at once.
okay. Keep waiting for me. Let's you must let her here. sit in the front. Why not sit in the front with her? Why do you have to sit in the front? Doesn't matter. Come on, let's just go. <laughs> I need that cigarette. Here's a smoke, girl. All right. Giggles was married to my brother Creeper, who's resting in peace now. She's been locked up in prison four years for something stupid she didn't even do. We were tripping out that she was coming home. So? What's up? None of you chavalas have written me in months. How are all the babies? Don't look at me, I ain't got kids. Junior's starting to walk now. He says nana for everything. His bananas, his milk, his toys, everything is nana, nana. <laughs> Crystal's got three teeth, and I think she knows her dad ain't around no more. That's stupid, Mona. She's too young to know shit. She probably won't even remember Ernesto anymore. I'll make sure she remembers him, okay? Girls, you don't ever throw down with your home girl over a guy. Guys come and go, they ain't worth it. I'm surprised to hear you say that. You just did time for your guy. Yeah. Well, he's gone, right? Ernesto came and went, all right. He was killed by a white girl. White girl? I heard it was River Valley. That's what the locos say. But our homegirl whisper was there. It was a client. When our homeboys found us after we got blasted, I was all passed out. The client was gone. So the locals say I was an unreliable witness. Ernesto's brother is running the operation now. What's Shadow gonna do with the firme truck he inherited? What do you mean, a firme truck? The truck, suavecito. He didn't even tell us nothing about it. Let me see. Where'd you get this? Sleepy. He did all the body work. Sleepy? She means big sleepy. <laughs> big sleepy. He wrote me letters and sent me pictures. He's real proud of this truck. Ernesto must have put all his baby into that. Well, we're raising his kids on welfare and shit. That's fucked up. If he was here right now, he'd be all nervous and stuttering and shit, trying to explain. Like he was when I caught him messing up on me with you. I see Mo, so he's not here, all right? Girls. If I were you, I'd have a little talk with Shadow. Maybe he could sell the truck and kick down some feria to your kids and pay some of Whisper's hospital bills. I had a lot of time to think in prison, know what I'm saying? And if I learned anything, it was this. We girls need new skills, because by the time our boys are 21, they're either in prison or disabled or dead. It's fucked up, but that's the way it is. We're left alone to raise our kids. We gotta think about the future. Me? I really worked on my skills while I was away. And I know what I have to do. Computers are the key to the future. <laughs> Homegirls, I'm gonna get a job. Big Sleepy is an older homeboy from Giggles' generation. The homeboys look up to him, just like me and my homegirls used to do with Giggles, before prison made her think she's Miss Goody Two Shoes. What's up, homeboy? What's up, homeboy? So what's up with school, homes? I'm not ditching I got home studies. Home studies? Why aren't you at home studying this shit? Sorry about what happened to Ernesto. Some hard ass shit, that's it. It's life, eh? Reality. You know, when I was 16, just like you, I lost one of my own boys. Java. <laughs> I heard about 
Chavez. All the homeboys still talk about him. He was my best friend, that's it. You know, when you lose a homeboy, it's tough. But you go on. When you lose your best camarada, you lose a part of who you are inside. And you know the drive-bys, I see? Most of the time, you don't even see who fired the shot. One of River Valley's bombs was saying cruising up the avenue that night, eh? Yeah, but did you see who did it? Did you see it? I got a jammy. My tutor's waiting for me at my path. Catch you later, Holmes. You're gonna be all right, Essie. Don't you come around and let me know what's up, okay, Holmes? And that's it. Keep through, cha. Sleepy is my second generation namesake. I had the name first, and he took it over in his generation. When a boy is jumped into the neighborhood, he gets a name or he chooses one. If he picks a name that's already taken by an older homeboy, it's cool, because it's different generations. When a boy is your namesake, you owe him something. At least, that's how I see it. And don't take it wrong, I'm not pretending to have any answers. You know, I have youngsters myself. You try to tell them not to rat on the walls, not to go looking for trouble. But you know how it is. They make the same mistakes that we did when we were kids. All you can hope for is that they learn their lessons a little quicker and that they don't fuck up too bad. I think I'm gonna kick back at Zad Girl's pad for a while. A rato. Computers. That's fucked up, eh? <laughs> Look at this oh one. Sleepy and Berta's wedding. She's mad dogging you out of the corner of her eye. That crazy bitch was even jealous of me on her damn wedding day. <sighs> she was down for me, though, the night me and Creeper jammed. Please. Sleepy was down for you, <laughs> as always. And out of respect for him, she had to be cool with you. That's how things were then. Not these homegirls now. Look at us. Hmm? We were so feminine. And our vatos oh, took such good care of their clothes. They were such proud men. These girls now, they look like boys. And whisper with blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> we would die before we bleached our hair blonde. Black or red, that was it. They don't shape their eyebrows. <laughs> they look like punk rockers to me. I look at them, that's what I see. The Pachuca said the same shit about us, Rachel. About how we had no respect, about how we dressed like men because we didn't wear pompadours and short skirts. Esa, did we party with guys in rival neighborhoods? 
No. Did we disrespect our parents or our vatos? Were we getting shot while dealing? No. Homegirl, things have changed. Hey, Shadow, didn't Ernesto teach you anything? What do I do? Okay, turn it off. Now the phone number comes on right there, see? Now put your hand in your pocket, take out a quarter, pick up the phone and call that number. Fuck. Well, Whisper, what do I say? Just ask them what they want, tell them where you're gonna meet them and when you're gonna be there. Hello? Hold on a second. Where am I gonna meet them? Stupid, behind a donut shop. Stop fucking around. Hello? Hold on a second. What are you doing, man? Fuck. Maybe you ain't too good at this. I can't do it for you, Shadow. This is your business. Give me a quarter. What's the number? Help out a little, homeboy. That Chuck such a secret. Why do you think he was probably taking all the girls out in there and stuff? Think he was dogging both of us? Oh, sad girl, he did it once. You think he's not gonna do it again? Still, I can't believe it. I just kind of miss him, you know? <laughs> we could take the kids to the beach on that thing, or to Disneyland. Fit a lot of groceries in there. Do our laundry more easier. Take the homegirls cruise in Ohio Boulevard, pick up on some vato, show them what's up. No, not in Ernesto's truck. You mean our truck. Are you playing me? Let's go find Shadow. Hey, lady, hey. I don't mean to ask you, but uh, you think you you know, help us out? You... Frank? Casual dreamer? I'm Giggles. From Echo Park. Angelica, Bob. How, how you been, girl? I've been okay. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm not too good. Where you been? I was doing time. For what, Mia? I was at the wrong place at the wrong time, Holmes. But I'm looking for a job now. I got a little girl, Frank. Is she as lovely as you are? She's a beauty. She's real shy with me, but she'll come around. I hope. Oh, sure she will, Mija. Sure she will. You know, we only have one hepita in life, you know. She'll come around. How are your kids, Frank? Yeah, it was obvious. You know, their hepita won't let me see them, you know, because I'm, I'm all strung out, you know. No, no. Go back to what you were doing, man. I didn't mean to bother you. I got places to go, you know, people to see. You sure? It's no problem. No, just, you know, just say hello to me now and then. You know, when, when you see me in the hood, you know, I'm always around here, man.
want, Shuttle. Just kick down the keys. You can't drive that car. It's too dangerous. River Valley's after it. Yeah, I'm scared of them. Put your shot, Shuttle. What's up with that? Jamie, the whole bag. She fucking waved. That what prison can do to somebody is fucked up. Wanna give me a dollar so I could get junior juice? I don't got it, I am broke. Okay, you guys are always broke. It's cause my old man ain't here, so. Cause when Ernesto was here, I didn't have to worry about shit. Except for. <sighs> anyway, the welfare ain't cutting it. Chip out, I only got like two food stamps left. Give me another one. It's not mine, it's Shadow's. I saw from the operation? Yeah. It's nothing compared to what Ernesto made dealing, but Shadow's barely starting. I'm trying to teach him a little, but I don't know. Oh. It's fucking stupid, eh? You gotta give that fairy out of Shadow when he don't even do shit? I should start my own operation. Last place of employment, education. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? Angelica, thanks for backing me up with the cops when they were taking my picture. De nada. It's the least I could do when I let you lock us down so hard. It's not like that, it's just, we got a lot of problems to solve in the barrio, and we thought you knew a lot from prison. Good night, I'm going to sleep.
gonna put some carne asada on the grill. You wanna stay and eat? Oh, yeah. I haven't eaten carne asada in years. All right, then. Tripped out on the body work you did on Ernesto's truck. You're a real artist, you know. Yeah, it came out all right. Locos are entering in a car show in Pomona. I told Mousy and Sad Girl they should get Shadow to sell it, help support the kids Ernesto left behind. Why? You take it out of the barrio? It'll never happen. The boys already had a meeting about it. It's been decided. And the girls have no say? Apparently not. Rachel said you bought this place. What happened to your old lady? She jammed. One day, that was it. She walked. Left the kids with her sister. No note, no nothing. That's cold, Holmes. Hey, it happens. She just wasn't down for the gangster life. You still down for it? I'll always back up Echo Park. You know, but you gotta grow up sometime. Get a plan in life, you know, even if it sounds crazy. Or else life will get you down. <laughs> Let's face it, baby. We're veteranos. Old gangsters. I look old to you, Sleepy? Nah. You look good. Easy now, baby. Uno. Uno. Dos. Tres. It was great, baby. You taught me well, big sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My little Angelica. You were such an innocent girl. I was afraid to love you too strong, but I did. I've always been crazy about you, Angelica. Come here. You and Gracie, lay your troubles to rest. I don't have much, but whatever I got is yours. Let me be good to you, baby. I'll take care of you. The last man that said that to me is dead. I don't want you 
you to take care of me. I don't ever want to depend on nobody. Never again in my life. The Stella Street Echo Park. V E S T A L. News Cross Street is Echo Park Avenue. Yeah, okay. Nice. Are you asleep? Does Kiko want you? Yeah. Are you married my dad so you're my mom? Yeah. I'm your mom. I was away. You like your tiger? Yeah. Yeah. Well, somebody started already. We never had no stupid meeting before, eh? We don't know what to do. Well, it was Giggle's idea. Tell him about the truck. This idea of a meeting came to me last night, cause, well, for a lot of reasons. Like what? what? The locals have decided to enter the truck Suavecito into Pomona. Oh, they think they'll take the first place trophy at the car show. But I checked around, and it ain't that simple. There are politics involved. And we don't belong to a car club. They don't know us. What the fuck? How much is the prize money? First place is $500. Yeah. Oh We're going to have to set up a meeting with the locals and convince them to sell it. If the locals are going to sell, where does the money go? Junior and Crystal Clotter, who do you think? Some of the money should go to Ernesto's kids. Mm -hmm. But Whisper's family should get some, too. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of hospital bills. Hospital bills. There won't be nothing left for our kids after we pay that. You didn't want to help your uncle whisper. It sounds scared all because of bullets she got shot. It wasn't bullets' fault. Yeah, it was. Right. So let's divide it. Some to Ernesto's kids. Some to Whisper's family. And some to Ernesto's mother. Her broken heart. Yeah. Please. Homegirls, we're ahead of ourselves here. The first thing we have to do is decide if we should call a meeting with the locals to discuss selling the truck. We have to vote, and majority rules. Everybody agree? Yeah. 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 All right, then. Raise your hands. Let's Fuck it. it. Oh, can yes. raise my hand? I can raise my hand. <laughs> I can raise my hand. <laughs> Let's do it right. Green in school. All right, well, do you agree? Yeah. 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 Didn't I tell you girls that our homegirl giggles would get our sorry shit organized?
school girl, what's up? Hey, when you go write me a letter. Oh. My blue eyes. Oh, that lemon. I think I'm in love with your sister. Don't waste your time, Stevie. She's fucked up over someone, is it? She's got it bad. Really bad. We call my sister Alicia La Blue Eyes because she's got the prettiest eyes in all of Echo Park. She's not in her gang. She's a schoolgirl. She goes to college. That's her trip. I never thought I'd see the day that she'd get so messed up over a guy. Not Alicia. Not my blue eyes. Whatever. Okay, you can look at it, but you Ooh. better be cool. You better be cool. <laughs> Teenagers. It was this magazine that shows how we were really like. I was scared she was gonna make fun of it. I couldn't believe it when she started crying over a poem some torcido had sent in from prison. That's when it all started. She sent the guy a letter, a really fat one. How can you find so much to say to somebody you don't even know? This torcido, prisoner, sent her a letter back as fat as the one she sent. She must have read it 20 times. Maybe she found someone who could talk her language, know what I'm saying? Before long, they were writing a letter a week to each other, and the letters didn't get no shorter. She got hit hard. She couldn't sleep or nothing. Imagine a love like that. They never even seen what each other looked like. He told her he thought they'd known each other in past lives. I think it was the book that did it. After he sent her that book, that's when she fell in love. I'd say the guy was nuts about her. Inside the book he wrote, to Alicia, la blue eyes. Here's to a lifelong correspondence, mi corazón por vida, Juan. Soy yo, amor mío, quien golpea tu puerta. No es el fantasma. No es el que antes se detuvo en tu ventana. Yo echo la puerta abajo. Yo entro en todo tu vida. Vengo a vivir en tu alma. Tú no puedes conmigo. He promised her he'd be out of prison soon, and then he wanted to see her every day. She wrote him a letter and pledged her love. She didn't hide a thing. She was his, she said, and she had always been his. That was over two months ago. She never heard from him again. Hey, Shadow, what's up, eh? How's my carochita doing? Man, I'm asking you, how's my carochita doing? You keeping it safe for me in there or what, eh? Ah, come on, oh, it's just a cruise through Elysian. At least you let me look at it then. Except for that Friedman sound system. I'm never gonna understand why Ernesto was so fucking crazy over this truck. Shadow, come here, man. The engine was some big deal. What do you think? Is it time to get him gold or chrome? I think it looks good for human gold. But then I think chrome too. But 
If you're gonna get a gold, you have to have the side, the fender, and everything. I'm not fucked up, fucking the body, homes. That's that's fine the way it is. I'm talking about the engine. I don't know. Get all braided hoses. You know, when you put it in the car show, you know, you can open up your hood and show it off. It's gonna have half chrome and half gold. Yeah. You know? So what? It's on you. What are you talking about? Well, then why are you asking me? But Eldron still claims that truck belongs to him. He doesn't even like Suavecito. He only drives classic cars for that gangster playboy vibe. It don't matter because he's still on a mission to get this truck. Now it's all down to me. The truck, my brother's business, and El Duran. Somebody give me a break. Listen up, my homeboy Ernesto, we miss, may rest in peace. Ernesto had a lot of unfinished business before he died. One thing he did is he registered his beloved mini, Suavecito, into the Pomona car show which takes place next month. I move, we put the car back in the show just like our homeboy wanted it. And Suavecito collects the prize money, we'll send that money back in the car and some of the operations. Do we have majority? Yep. Collect the prize money and all the fine hyenas. Oh. 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 What do you got to say about it? I don't know. Hey, is it? You guys could do whatever you want with the truck, Holmes. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. It's your carnal, homeboy. He's dead. You got to take care of business. And Durane. Hey, fuck El Duran. I said, next time we see El Duran, Holmes, we'll fucking blast his ass. Yeah, yeah. fuck that puto. Yeah. Yeah. You down for that? Hey, gangster, don't fucking work like that, Holmes. Our next problem with Del Duran was between them. It's not a neighborhood conflict. Oh, what happened to him happens to us. We're all a familia, Holmes. That's it, Holmes. That's all. Get no. All right, then, Holmes. It's between El Duran and me. I'll back you up, Essay. Come on, eh? I'll back you up, too, eh? Say, I said, we're all going to back up. Party time. There it is. There's some music. There it is, homie. Our Glica River Valley is as old as Echo Park, but from the beginning we didn't get along. That was 60 years ago. The rains would come and fill the riverbed that ran through my barrio. An old veterano talks about it still, when LA had a river and the floods came. All the people would sit on the bank and watch all the things washed down from the city. Mattresses, flower pots, Hoods from Ramflas, screen doors, even a piano. The old man claims that one day he saw a whole house. <laughs> Chale, le dije. The truck Suavecito was promised to me by a torcido from Echo Park when I saved his ass from a gang of Norteños. This mini truck Suavecito, <laughs> it's a dreadful machine, no class. But this is a matter of honor. The truck is rightfully mine. Your sister's still riding to that fool who never rode her back? Si. One temido. Oh, la blue eyes. It sucks to be played with by any man, but one temido. You know this Vato Giggles? Ask any of your older homegirls. He's had a reputation across the West Side since I was just a kid myself. He scams, wins your heart, then disappears like a bandit. <laughs> it's fucked up. Fuck oh. that poem, girl. It can't be the same guy. This guy was no playboy. He was the serious type. He wrote poetry and shit. Man, who would it in prison? When they get out, it's a different story, eh? Yeah. It's always like yeah. that. 
This one to me that got out of solid debt about yeah. two months ago. That's about right, homegirl. It's your fault, huh? If you want to do your sister a big favor, you let me bring her to a party in River Valley on Friday night. Then she can see for herself what Senor Juan Temida is really like. <laughs> Mona, I think I'd better stay home. No, why? Come on, blue eyes. It'll be fun. You need to get out and get your mind off that torcido. Hey, you can't play forever, eh? Okay. Right. Go. Oh. not gonna be any fun. Nobody expects you to be school girl. Get the car. Look, shut the fuck up, Mom. Hey, Whisper, it's been over two hours. I don't think they're gonna come. Maybe they got busted. Coming out partying with your homegirls tonight. They went on a mission in another neighborhood with sad girl's sister. Besides, we had business, right? Blue eyes partying with the locas? It's not like that. That's what you said. No, I didn't, Menso. Hey, Whisper, wanna go around me? Hey, Shadow, why'd you do that? I like you a lot, and you even kiss pretty good. But this is business, a professional thing. Kelly's walking home. Sad girl, this is a party, okay? Shut the fuck up. I used to have a lot of fun now, okay? It's so tight, eh? God. What's up? Me comparque. Okay, start the party. Oh. Echo Park Locas are here. There are so many battles here. Look. Yeah, there are. Told you. Warming. Okay. You got liquor in here? Okay, give me, I want a little bit. Not your heart, too, babe. Gosh, stupid. I'm just asking. He'll be here. He's showing off his latest lovely tonight.
You're drunk, Lika. Go sit down before you make a fool out of yourself, okay? Hey, the blue eyes is checking out of the dark. <laughs> not. Just amazed. Ooh, he's amazing, all right. Hey, Holmes, they sold the fucking truck. Yeah, call the homeboys, Holmes. I'm ready. Dimples, why don't you go uh, dance for me? You know how I love that. Show off on me. Well, I'm gonna go look for Sir Speedy. You wanna sit down? Thank you. Enjoying yourself? No. <laughs> Not really. You'd rather be at home, lost in your dreams, Kendall? Go down some citizen. Hey, Joker Bird. Thanks for backing me up tonight, Holmes. Hello, Holmes. <laughs> Thank you, eh? I've been waiting five fucking years to pop that faggot. Oh, yeah, I said for what? <laughs> for what? Ever since he broke my little sister's heart, eh? Played around with her like she was some little toy or something, that fucker. We've met. I've <laughs> met you before. I know you. Yes. No? Probably in another life, huh? Let's go dance, huh? because it kind of makes me think about being in love with someone and you don't even know them. <laughs> you don't know anything about them. That's wild, huh? You ever been in love like that? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> it's What's your name? Alicia. Alicia. I want to make a dedication. What do they call you? This dedication goes out to my homegirl, La Blue Eyes. Here's to a lifelong correspondent. Mi corazón por vida. From Juan Semido. The one we call El Duran. Let's go, Joker. Let's go. What's up, folks? What a day. Got a fucking problem, Missy? Got a problem. Yeah, I got a problem. You fucking around with my girl, eh? We call her La Blue Eyes. Right, she's fine, honey, too, Holmes. I guess I'm just gonna have to kick your fucking ass. Fuck this guy, okay? Fuck this guy. Fuck this
What were you thinking, Ese? Look at the fucking car. The next day, Chuka admitted he fucked up Ernesto's truck. He couldn't resist the temptation of one little cruise down Baxter, the steepest street in L.A. Eldron was blasted for no good reason, but oh well, it's too late. Once her pain was gone, it didn't matter to her who he really was. Her heart was stronger for the love she gave. Some people say when he died, they found her love letter in his coat pocket over his heart. I guess we'll never know if it was the truth. By the time our boys are 21, most of them will be disabled, in prison, or dead. We need to learn new skills for the future, because we can't count on the boys to take care of us and our kids. We have our own meetings now, our own operations, and we defend our neighborhood. By the time my daughter grows up, Echo Park will belong to her, and she can be whatever she wants to be. The homegirls have learned to pack weapons because our operations have become more complicated. It makes me nervous to have so many guns around the kids, but we are safe and practical. Women don't use weapons to prove a point. Women use weapons for love. What did you get for your sister? I think I'm walking away from my sister. Okay, go put it over here. <laughs> Where's your daddy in here? Where's your daddy? Hey, homie. Hey, what's up, Bessie? How you doing? Right, oh, just came back from my nine house. Oh, that is. Just get me back. Hey. Hey, Vato. You sleepy? Yeah. This is for El Duran.
Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. But not hip hop, yo. <laughs> and let it be known that we are on some um And this ain't on the pop tip, yo. Are y'all kids tucked in? Yeah. Here we go. People in the audience, they cry out ho. People with a gun, yo, they'll cry out blow. I don't like a cop, I don't sell a rock. But still the king will clock me after a show. Standing on the stage, you've been pouring with sweat. To people in the crowd, I give what they get. Papers make pay, babies make laid. I don't really worry, nor do I fret. Waiting for the gimme and boy, I got some. Sweet like a peach and tart like a plum. I fought what I think, I rock a bead link. Legally, I sit when I turn 21. A letter to the home, but it freaked the head dome. The army wants me to drop my microphone. Gotta be brief, no orders from a chief. How butter on what? Say what? The popcorn. On the tour bus, we hit the truck stop. A dollar for some chips, a quarter for some pop. We laugh and giggle some. Five gets the honey buns. Ali Shahi Muhammad keeps talking that shop. The brothers cruise on as requests for the check. Calling up famous to see if it's there yet. Not a bourgeois, hate the seminar. Ignorant flip, hey miss, you must jet. Flex for the funkiest butts start to bounce. Measure hip hop for weight by the ounce. Bush on the tush, you're pulling while I push. Play me for the punk, then puss, fill a pound. It's like that show. Freak, freak, yo. It's like that show. Freak, freak, yo. It's like that show. Freak, freak, yo. It's like that show. Tapes come, yo, yo, I won't riff. I just sit down and get me a spliff. With miles, I was born, a child of a corn. Molecules of the land, they uplift. Levels is straight, in fact, they're rectified. Adrenaline now is crazy, multiplied. Four and four is eight, the factory makes the plate. I make sure the tribe is in. With the quickness, you bear the witness. Flexing and pumping with the fitness. Moving it, uh, doing it, uh. Those who oppose must hit the S list. Doing it, doing it with the whole frame. Look what's in the mind and not in the brain.